Okay, um, we have learnt already E pentatonic minor, the scale down in the open position, yeah? Now, in a couple of videos I've made reference to being able to play it up at the 12th position, the exact same shape. Now I just want to play it down here once and I want us to think that for every time we play a zero, we might think that the finger, the first finger, presses the zero behind the nut. It doesn't have to do that, of course, because it takes care of it for us, the instrument, but we go zero, three, zero, two, zero, two, zero, two, zero, three, zero, three, zero. The zeros the, on the high E string is that kind of tonic up there. The, the open E string is the E. The G is available because it's a note in the scale. Okay, if we take everything we've just played and add 12 frets to it, we get E pentatonic minor up at the 12th fret. Now you'll have seen guitarists in all sorts of styles, dweeble and noodle away up there and lots of licks are built up at that part of the neck. So, if you take that idea again, that concept of adding 12 frets to everything, zero becomes 12, three becomes 15, zero becomes 12, two becomes 14, zero is 12, two is 14. That will give us 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14. Okay, any time it's a 12, I want you to use your index finger. For the 15, on the E, B and E, I use my pinky, and for the 14s, I use my ring finger or third finger. Some people, and this is completely cool with me, use first, for, first finger for all the 12s and third finger for everything else. don't need to get your second finger involved, you shouldn't be. Okay, so that's an E pentatonic minor scale up in the 12th position. It's still what we call position one or shape one of the E pentatonic minor scale. The notes E, G, B, sorry, E, G, A, B, D, E can be played in lots of positions between here and here. Yep, so we could get E, G, A, B, D, we can play it in a few spots around the neck. We could start it here. Yep, so that time it started on a G, A, B, D, E. G, A, B, D, E. G, A, B, D, E. I'm digressing there into a lesson for another day. I just want you to be aware that these aren't the only places you can play that scale. Yep, E, G, A, B, D, E. Available across the fretboard. Okay. If you've watched my video where we talk about ways to practice the pentatonic minor scale in E down at this end of the neck, you'll remember we spoke about maybe ascending it with hammer-ons for each of the highest note on each string. So we've got 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14, etc. The 12s we're going to pick, we're going to hammer on to the second note. Yep. That kind of getting into that territory of really guitar -y vocabulary. So I'll do that again slowly. One, two, hammer on. Do you remember we spoke about pulling off? Coming down that way. We could go, we'll start on the 15 on the higher, even though technically it goes above that kind of top note. We're gonna go 15, pull off to 12, 15, pull off to 12, 14, pull off to 12, 14, pull off to 12, 14 pull off to 12, 15 pull off to 12. So we get, yeah, so we had hammer-ons. One way of practicing it, we spoke about skipping strings and always coming back for the one we'd missed and then skipping the next one. I went back to the E there because it's our tonal center. So I went E string, D string, A string, G string, D string, B string, G string, E string. Come back, skipping strings. Yeah, we spoke about playing in groups of three. 
So I play up three notes of the scale, then my next group of three starts on the second note in the scale. Then we start on the third note from the scale, fourth note from the scale, fifth note. So, is one octave. Is the second octave. We're getting into kind of musical territory now, playing down the scale in threes. All that kind of stuff. You can mix together bends and little runs of threes, and it's kind of endless the things available to us. But the core of this and lots of iconic guitar playing is this pentatonic minor scale. Now, Way back at the start of this video, I spoke about the 12th fret um, that we can move from 0 to 12 and get the same note. Hopefully this comes into focus. I've got two dots at the 12th fret of my guitar. Two dots, abalone pearl dots on the, uh, on the fingerboard there. That's telling me it's the second octave of that string. Now, oct suggests 8, doesn't it? We've got 8 tones, but we've got 12 semitones, yeah? Instantly learn all the notes of the 12th fret because it's the second octave of the string. E, A, D, G, B, E. The whole pattern starts again above the 12th fret. Yeah. Now, lots of really iconic playing that we love. People are playing away, shredding away up here. They might have learned that information down here in the very early days of playing. It's so familiar they can just translate everything starting again from 12. Cool. Um, I think I said this in another video, be musical with it. If you can get a loop going, let's do a different loop for this video. I'm going to get rid of this one. Um, let's go. Got that loop going in E minor. I wish I'd use my neck pick up, but that's okay. First thing I want to do is just play up and down my scale position. Repetitions on the same string. String skip. Here we go. Bigger intervals. Yeah. Bends. playing two notes at the same time. Yeah? There's so much you can get out of those five notes. If you've got a favourite guitarist or kind of musician that's made music since the 1920s, um, chances are in some of their music they've been using minor pentatonic vocabulary. Yeah? get inside it. Remember, once you've learned that shape, position one, up at the 12th fret, the root note is dictated by the first note you play, which in this instance we've got that really easy rule, it's the 12th fret of the low E, therefore it's E. If you moved it to the 5th fret, that's A, that's an A there, E, G, A, play exactly the same configuration of kind of gaps between the notes, just learn yourself a pentatonic minor. You can take that shape all over the fretboard, yeah? That's a lesson for another day. Today's kind of aim is get really, really comfortable with E pentatonic minor. I've been playing guitar for 
20 years, I think, and it still makes up a significant amount of um, the ideas that I come up with and solo with and think about, and it still makes up, of all the guitarists I love and other instrumentalists, it still is so central to things that those guys play. So, enjoy it, get to know it, try and remember the intervals, the root, flat third, fourth, fifth, flat seven, try and remember the notes, depending on the key, try and think of those different ways of playing it. If some of those techniques are new to you, don't freak out, there'll be another video I've done or someone else on the internet has put together talking you through all that stuff. So, enjoy it. Have fun.